Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today, I am going to play Eden, and we're going to start with the scissors, just watch. Uh, we didn't start with the scissors, I'm sorry I lied to you. But here's what we got. We got the treasure map, the uh, unicorn stump for invincibility without contact damage every room. Uh, it's not very useful at the moment, but if I get something like Midas Touch, it's fantastic. <clears throat> that's pretty much the only thing it's fantastic with, I lied. But that's okay. And uh, we spawned with pretty bad fire rate, but okay damage probably. No, not okay damage, it just thinks it's okay, but it's not actually. So yeah, this is a pretty bad start. But that's okay, we'll turn it into something, maybe. We don't have the bowl cut, so I honestly might be doomed. What the heck? Oh, it looked like they had more health than the head ones did, for some strange reason. Well, I don't need this right now, thanks. So, of course, we uh, have unlocked the scissors now. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Having a treasure map from the start is actually pretty sick. And this is a very, like, interesting looking floor, considering that it's perfect. Not something you see every day. Not something you see every day at all. It's a regular old Curse of the Darkness floor. Which, of course, I had to check for the curse, because I just stopped noticing Curse of Darkness. Like, I know it's there, but I don't realize it. That's actually probably a worthwhile respawn right there. Lazarus' rags lets me respawn as uh, revived Lazarus. Which uh, sets my damage multiplier to 1.2. Gives me, like, boosted stats general. Gives me anemic. Unless it doesn't for... No, it does. Yeah, it gives me anemic, which means uh, when I get hit, I track blood on the ground for the rest of the room. I just only happen to have one heart. <clears throat> so now I'm just kind of doing a Lazarus run. But from the start, I wouldn't mind being able to hold two trinkets. Let's, uh, let's try to do that. Almost got it in one. Alright, so now I can hold two trinkets. No curse room, sadly, so I couldn't use that to uh, the fool card to get out of a curse room on the cheap. That's like pretty much the goal of a fool card for me that or carry it all the way to the freaking boss rush that I'm not going to be able to make because so far this run's bad. Uh, and then use it to steal an item from boss rush, but that's really unlikely. So I'm, I'm having a bad Duke of Flies here, which is actually kind of funny. Alright. Nope, Duke of Flies, you're dead to me. Thank you for the soul heart, though. I appreciate that. I needed that. Health up and 0.3 damage up as well. That is good. That is what I need. I would love to go in there. I'm going to do it. Screw the rules. Oh, interesting. It teleported me there. I guess that's fine. Doesn't really make a difference. I just didn't expect it. Okay, stay stay away. Yeah, this is a much better damage multiplier than whatever I spawned with Zedon. So at least this means that I can do something with my life. Oh, really? I just did that? I walked right into that spider? Okay, that's good. Flatworm makes it so that my tiers are wider. They have a larger hitbox. Uh, it's cool. Easier to hit stuff with them. Now, if you just stay right there, you're great, and I appreciate it. And you stay right there as well. Everyone is happy in life. Teleport? I'm not happy with a teleport, though. I don't really want to teleport. I don't feel like this run's gonna go well for very long. Well, it's not going well yet. I just don't feel like it's going to go well at any point. That was cool that half of those were black. I think that means that it actually 
uh, was shooting the very moment it died, and it got its shot off in time. Uh, and he makes also a range up. I don't know if I got to mention that. Remembered to mention that. I don't know what I did and didn't say at this point. Alright, so we got a soul heart, we got a key. We in there. Okay, perfect. Of course it dropped its coin. The convenient thing that I need the most. Okay, nothing there. The haunt? Oh, come on. Come on. Wow, I should have been hit there. This is worth it, I think. Whoopsie. Perfect. Easy fight. Speed up, size down, and a pill. Pill's given directly to you. Come on, Ghost Baby's not worth it. But I have to, because, like, this run's so bad so far that I can't possibly accept Angel Rooms as a possibility. So, uh, Ghost Baby shoots Spectral Tears. Sure. Oh my god, that was dumb. I, I won't mind if I die and have to just do another run. That doesn't sound like a bad thing to me. I want a bomb. I need a bomb for that tinted rock. And that's teleport rather than uh, the other thing. Hey, I didn't know I had Curse of the Maze. Who knew? Oh my god, you are just being a jerk. I just want to see. I just want to see if there's a bomb on sale. See, you didn't even have to... You didn't even have to be a jerk about it, you know. That was just unnecessary. Oh well, let's see if we can survive here somehow. I don't really think we can, but we can try. That health up looks mighty tempting. I wish I still had the fool card. I'll try and come back for it. Like, hopefully I can get a decent boss item, like Magic Mushroom. Just decent, not like the best boss item or anything. Just, you know, an okay one. And, uh... Then I can handle that boss challenge room. It's probably not or that regular challenge room. It wouldn't be that tough, I guess. Tammy's head's probably better than what I got. That shoots out uh, tears in every or ten directions, every single direction, all 360 of them. Anyway, those do my damage plus 25, so they're pretty darn strong. It is quite a powerful killing machine. And it use, it's usable every room, so it's a good, solid item. It's just rarely the thing to take that's applicable. But right now, I think it's definitely the thing to take that's applicable. This is looking quite bad, though. I did hit all of them. At the very least, so... We got that going for us. Are you joking right now? Is this real life? Is this real life right now? Remember how I said, like, one thing would be the best for this run right now? And I, I it's just, that's what I've got right now. I'm amazed. So, uh, this does my coin count as contact damage. And, uh, it's pretty darn good. Okay, let's leave and re-enter. So anyway, my coin count is done as contact damage, and it turns enemies to gold, freezing them. If I kill the enemy while it's gold, I get more money. I get money drops, which means that it's just a self-perpetuating thing. I can continue doing more and more damage. All right, I needed to get out of there quickly. And since I'm invincible with this, I can just run into stuff freely as much as I want. I need this more than I need pretty much anything else. I know what this pill is. It can't be a bad trip since I already got that. Alright, well, this is a run. This this run is much less bad than it was going to be mere moments ago. And I'm going to get up to 99 cents really quickly. 
Oh, that's good. That, uh... Opens up all the secret rooms for me on the floor. That's one damage up. If I get something that uh, modifies my tiers, 0.2 tiers up. If I get something that modifies my speed, 0.2 speed down. Dude, we've got to run, though. This is a shot speed up and a card drop. Empress. Okay, we haven't found the item room yet. So that's our next path. And we, of course, haven't found either secret room. Our health is still bad, but remember, we've got invincibility. Oh, we have found the item room. I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't do anything about these guys until I'm freed. Alright, the item room was minus touch. I just... <laughs> I'm just crazy. I've lost my mind, okay? I didn't find either item room. Or secret room. I don't care. I, I'm just I'm just gonna accept that. I don't have the keys for that. Wow, we've got a chest room and a dice room. Right next to each other. I don't have the keys. I'm just not able to really take interest in that. So this will, of course, weaken later in the run. But that's okay. Now we need money equals power. And then everything's going to be, like, amazing. And it's not quite money equals power. That's a little Chad. Drops a half red heart every couple rooms. No, he's all right. So we're up to 99 cents now. Which means we're doing 99 damage every hit. Which is absurd, of course. And I don't need to pick up the money unless I buy stuff from the shop, which I would like to do. It's free to get in. Free to get out. Uh, I'm just going to shoot for a room. Uh, sucks what room it is, though. But that's not really up to me. So, there. Nah, I don't need any of this. It's all for losers. <laughs> Dang, dude. This is a good run, though. Like, it, it turned from one of the worst runs to a very, very good, great run. Stop running away, dude. I just want you to die. Is that so much to ask? So that's the boss room. Extra soul heart for free. Wretched. Easy peasy. Look at that. Doesn't have very much uh, health, that's for sure. Speed and shot speed up. Also, uh, no, nothing else. Ah, oh, I can't take that. It's nice to just have a run where I just can plow through everything. That's pretty silly. That is pretty silly. Why you gotta give me Curse the Lost so much? Oh, I'm dumb. Got to shoot this room because I didn't really think things through. That's okay. Later in the run, though, this will not be strong enough to just plow through everything like I am. This is only depths one, so we have to keep hurrying if we want to make boss rush, which we probably don't, honestly, because I can't really, like, beat boss rush because I don't have infinite health or anything. And I certainly don't have a build that can handle boss rush without the invincibility. Got these heads, not bad, but it's not something I'm keeping. Alright, that's easy enough. I like this room. Good room to have to shoot. Ugh, I have to wait so long. And it's a dead end. I obviously don't need the money or the health. Excuse me. Let's 
go this way. Nice job. You're smart swell dude running into stuff like that. I mean, I'm not using a key for this room. Dang. We've also got rooms like this where I have to shoot no matter what I do. And those obviously suck. Because I, I really don't have a good build yet. I'm trying, but at least I've got something. Can't get to that. Perfect. I love a good free fight. As every fight is right now. Nope. Sacrificial Dagger, this adds to my build so well. Like, the game wants it to happen. Sacrificial Dagger, of course, uh, orbital that blocks tears and does a lot of contact damage to enemies. I, I don't need any of this either. So silly. So, of course, while they're on iframes from my 99 damage, it can do the rest of this stuff pretty easily. We get little gish for this. Familiar that shoots slowing tears. No devil room, really. And of course, since this is going kind of slowly, we actually need to uh, hurry up, <laughs> get boss rush, see if we can do anything with it. Namely, teleport out. That would be the best uh, that we could accomplish. I am going to give this all of my money. Now that you mention it. Take your time, though. I don't have anywhere to be, nor any damage output to do. There you go. Easy peasy. What? Oh, I guess I'm killing them with the knife, the dagger. All right, well, we're back to 99. So I know exactly where I'm supposed to go, of course, for the boss, as does anyone. Maggie's bow is a health up, and it makes it so that uh, any heart pickups heal me for twice as much as they normally would. Oh, I gotta fight this kind of normally. This is where I need money equals power, yo. Surprised that wasn't worth more. Uh, I counted. <laughs> this feels so silly. I didn't have enough. I, I thought I'd have enough juice to make a full loop around the room. Yeah, it's juice. Okay, I've got to skip some rooms to try and make the boss uh, rush just to see. Why would I go in there? It's just you gain nothing from doing that, me. Ah, oh, dang, we gotta take a little bit of damage, I guess. I do gain something from going here, though. The chance that I get something actually good. But I did. Oh, I gotta do this room. Oh, messed up. Not surprised. Okay, we're, we're not, you know, nothing's free right now. Gotta take that. Oh, I can hold two trinkets, would you look at that? Ha, huh, that's pretty free. How did I not get a double room? All right, we're taking this to the chest. Dark Bum, probably pretty worthwhile, but I can't teleport out of here. I can't handle it. It's too much for me. Sorry. So. Okay, this way. Oh, come on. There you go. Good. We don't have many keys. 
Uh, the left hand, that's what I wanted to talk about. All chests are red chests. Guppy's collar, 50% chance to revive at half a heart if I die. I'll have as many uh, heart containers as I had when I died. So in this case, two, if I don't spend them in the double room. Of course, I'm trying to become Guppy here if possible. So that I have something of a backup. Such that I can... Wow, good job. Well, you have that much health over here? So that I can do something without my item. <laughs> wow, what a mess. I missed one. That's alright. Certainly don't have a ton of health here. Perfect that I could unfairly kill the uh, unfair boss. Oh, there it is. So synth oil, damage up by one, range up. Uh, Guppy's, their dead cat, sets me to one red heart, nine respawns at one red heart. And then Spirit of the Night, Flight and Spectral Tears, just to get this uh, Spectral Tears. Third Guppy piece, so that made me Guppy. Now every time I hit with a tear or one of my familiars hits with a tear, I spawn a Kamikaze Fly, and those do twice my damage. My damage isn't amazing or anything, but uh, we'll, we'll make do. Of course, the idea is still going to be just use my invincibility for everything I can. Uh, red chests are still more valuable to me right now, since uh, they can have soul hearts and other such nice things. Thanks for the full health. Empress is, of course, 1.5 damage up and 0.3 speed up for a room. I like how that spawned out there. Lock down. No big deal. Okay, there's almost 100% certainly a Tinted Rock in here. By which I mean there is, like, guaranteed a Tinted Rock in here. That's what I said. Listen to me, I'm a genius. Nah, there was a decent chance of one, though. Close. Bad trip. I'll pass on that one. Alright, it lives. Let's do this. Easy. Wow. This is going silly amounts of well, of course. Haven't had to go guppy yet. When I have flight, I guess I don't need to at all, probably. So that's good. It's nice to, like, this is a silly build. I pretty much never see it. And the fact that I called it earlier is just, like, ridiculous. Alright. Dang. Wow, that was close. That's fine. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he died for a second. Alright, what do we have in our items? Our chests. Oh, I forgot. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. I didn't need them. I don't have the tail, oddly enough. So. I will, of course, drop my trinket, though, this time. I went too fast. Do I think it's up and left? I'm not actually sure. Why don't I just full clear? God, the music sounds so dumb. Sped up. What are you? Spawns a trapdoor. Of course, there is nothing that it can trapdoor to here, so it doesn't spawn a trapdoor unless it's... I assume unless it's going to give me a... Uh, thing, but I don't actually know if it can. Thanks for that. Lard for later if I need it. I'm not able to clear all these rooms super quickly. And of course, if I die a single time, I won't have the ability to uh, use my item again because it won't get a charge because I didn't complete a room. 
So I probably go on a serious death spiral in that uh, circumstance. Sun doesn't matter. Eh, it gives me the secret room location though. I'm also dumb and keep doing that in that room. So I'll probably need the health. But I should probably only take the health ups if I die. Or my stuff is looking that bad by the time I go to the boss and finish the floor. Remember, the goal was to spawn with the scissors, so I didn't mean my goal here for today. But what can you do? Sometimes you don't get to meet your goals. Wow. I didn't even close to still have... I wasn't even close to still having invincibility. I killed his legs. Uh, that was weird. That would be really sucky to die to, because I didn't know that would happen. Oh well. Oh, but. Oh well, we'll be fine. That's not useful. <laughs> Raw liver, two health up. Full health. The only thing that matters is that I take lard last. As lard gives me a half heart, and that's the only way I'll get uh, polar invincibility interval. Because remember, I have Maggie's bow. Oh, gotta use the flies. Look at all the money everywhere. This is dang silly as heck. Alright, so let's go pick this up. Then let's go pick this up. Sucks that I didn't get like any items. And then let's go pick lard up. Good job, dude. Speed up after lard. Uh, that will be a full heart. Now I just need to find another half heart, which is right there. So there we go, we're prepared. Let's get through here. Uh, let's find the top secret room, which is just ideally right here. Wow, I'm good at this sometimes, and it's just full hearts, which I don't need at all. So... Do this. Okay, I gotta back off. Now we gotta have a legit fight. It won't be that long though. Yeah, it's quick. Dead and didn't even take a hit. Pretty perfect. Uh, so, oops, not delete. <laughs> Don't delete my file. So we're still at the same stuff as before, just with an extra mom kill. There's nothing really... Excuse me. Nothing really interesting. I didn't spawn with the scissors as I'd planned to. Uh, doing the Lost with Afterbirth. Once I pick up the scissors, which hopefully is soon. Uh, I'm If Afterbirth isn't that soon, I'll do um, PS4 or Xbox One. I'll start it. I'll probably move back to PC when I get when Afterbirth comes out. Depending on timing, of course. See how quickly I can get through that. Uh, what else do we have? That's about it. Uh, that is going to do it for today, then. Is that it? I thought I had something in mind. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you next time.